Well, after some digging, digging and digging and digging, I found, for those of you guys who don't know, Shannon Joy, who uh, we now produce her radio show, The Shannon Joy Show, here in upstate New York. Shannon, Joe is a, Shannon Joy is a phenomenal activist. She gets to the bottom of things very quickly. And lo and behold, as I'm prepping for the show today, I see a tweet come in that says, this is why the media and government are pivoting on messaging regarding COVID and vaccines. The information on efficacy and uh, safety that Pfizer, FDA, and CDC have been hiding is going to be released very, very quickly. Thank you to Aaron Siri. You are an American hero. Who's Aaron Siri? Aaron Siri is leading the charge. He has just won a disclosure suit against the FDA. So if you guys haven't been paying attention to this, Aaron Siri is leading the charge going after the FDA. There's a lawsuit against the FDA requiring them to disclose 55,000 documents a month. 55,000 documents a month. And they need to be released all pertaining to the Pfizer vaccine data. And they need to be released within the next eight months. So you better believe Pfizer, Walensky, Fauci are shitting themselves right now thinking, crap, we didn't expect the data to be released to the American people this quickly. And why didn't they think that? Why exactly didn't they think that? Well, they didn't think it because Aaron Siri, before arguing this case to the judge, Pfizer said, and I'll read this article out to you because it's it's worth noting, Pfizer originally tried to get away with releasing only 500 pages of data per month over the next like 40 years. I mean, they weren't going to have the data ready until 2079, somewhere along those lines. They blamed it on the fact that they didn't have enough manpower. We only have 10 people. We can't possibly keep up. Or the, the company that's going to be reviewing the data only has 10 people. They can't keep up, but we'll do this. We'll release 500 pages a month. How about that? Well, Aaron Siri was like, uh, no, because if you do it at that rate, we're never going to get to see the data until about for another uh, 75 years. So a federal judge in Texas on Thursday ordered the FDA to make public the data it relied on to license the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine, imposing a dramatically accelerated schedule that should result in the release of all information within eight months. So you can imagine how many people are absolutely crapping their pants right now. That's roughly 75 years and four months faster than the FDA said it could take to complete a Freedom of Information Act request by a group of doctors and scientists seeking an estimated 450,000 pages of material about the vaccine. So originally, the FDA wanted to take 75 years, 500 pages of data per year released, or sorry, per month released, 450,000 pages divided by 500, you get about 75 years. Clearly, the plaintiffs were not okay with that. Aaron Siri fought and he won. If you haven't looked him up, check him out. The court concludes that this Freedom of Information Act request is of paramount public importance and that they should drop all of their other requests to focus on this one very important issue. The CDC or the FDA originally said, listen, we got like a ton of requests going on. We can't just drop what we're doing. Well, the judge said you're going to drop what you're freaking doing and you're going to focus on this because there's nothing more important right now than getting to the bottom of how safe this vaccine is because we are forcing it on American people. We are about to force it on our children. So there is nothing more pressing than there is right now than releasing all the data that the Pfizer pharmaceutical companies have been gathering 
since the very beginning. And that's another one of the plaintiff's arguments. They said, listen, you guys should have been producing this the whole time, okay? You produced enough data in record lightning speed to get the Pfizer vaccine licensed to begin with. And now you're telling us you can't provide the data to back up why you felt the vaccine was safe in the first place. So you could see why the federal judge slammed that bullshit down real quick and awarded the judgment to Aaron Siri leading the charge on this case and has now said you guys will work your asses off around the clock to get this done. And rightly so. At first, the FDA said, listen, we only have 10 employees who can handle this. Well, they then realized, no, they've got tens of thousands of employees over at Pfizer who are able to uh, work round the clock on this situation. So they uh, are in big trouble. Big trouble, Pfizer is. And now that we know uh, what's going on here, now that we know that Aaron Siri just won a disclosure suit against the FDA, requiring them to disclose 55,000 documents a month pertaining to the Pfizer vaccine data, we know that the truth is finally going to come out. It's going to come out. It's been documented. Uh, this isn't just information that Pfizer is documenting. This is information that scientists all around the world are documenting. This lawsuit was originally brought to uh, this, this, this law firm that Aaron Siri is heading up by scientists and doctors around the world. 30 to 40 scientists who said, listen, we have a right to know what's going on here. We have a right, according to the Freedom of Information Act, to know what's really going on behind the scenes. They went to the FDA. The FDA said, well, it's going to take 75 years, 500 pages per month of data. The judge said, no, you drop everything you're doing. You get this done in eight months. That obviously spooked Fauci because Fauci's now thinking, shit, I've been misleading the American people here. Why? I don't know. Maybe because Biden was putting pressure on him. Maybe because the teachers unions were putting pressure on Biden. There's a whole chain of BS here. A whole chain of total nonsense and total shit and corruption and fraud that they just kept kicking the lies down the road from the unions to the Biden administration to the CDC to little app dog Fauci and everybody else and the doctors and the health officials who were all taking their backhand money to keep the lie going. Talk about the big freaking lie here. I mean, this is the monumental lie of our lifetime. The whole thing has been total and utter nonsense.